in Ted Chang's The Truth of Fact, The Truth of Feeling, he pushes the reader down a path of exploration on the topic of memory and how it adapts to technology. In my initial response to a short story, I found myself at a point of realization. A realization that shows me the issue of tradition versus technology spans over every generation. He did this with his comparison of the written word in Jingham's story to the Remy in a futuristic setting. The conflict between assimilating to the new and what felt like abandoning your natural memory is a major internal conflict within each of these characters. And initially I agreed that these two entities, oral versus written cultures and memory versus video, were two separate things entirely, forcing one to choose either one or the other. But after watching Ted Chang's speech, Mobile Technologies and New Narratives of the Self at Georgia Tech, he raised the idea that these new advances, regardless of their man-made properties, could become an extent of your natural mind and memories. He says, quote, If our life logs become as easily searchable as the web is now, our habits will evolve and our brains will adapt to reinforce those habits. When we want to know what has happened to us, we will start looking it up rather than recalling it directly. If you think of your life log as your memory, then your memory has actually improved. You now have a complete, extraordinarily detailed memory of everything that has happened to you, end quote. And that's a lot to soak in. Can we truly consider man-made technology as a part of us? It certainly close enough and easy enough to find information about the world by simply asking Google, but when this translates to our own personal lives, it begins to affect our privacy and it's much harder to swallow. It makes me consider how this has affected my own life, like consider my photos. I can capture any moment I'd like to with my phone, and although I don't naturally remember everything that's occurred in every memory, I still consider myself to have grasped these memories because of my easy access to it. I subconsciously have combined my mind and my files, and I've yet to see a negative influence in my life, but I'm still left with the hesitation towards the invention of a life log, just due to its vast scale. So in conclusion, my opinion has changed from rejecting the notion of technology affecting my mind and realizing that I have in fact been practicing it in my everyday life. Thank you.